What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you are new to the channel, do me a favor, hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content that we have coming out. And with this video, we are jumping into The Flash, issue number 777. Now, if you haven't been keeping up with The Flash, go ahead, check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It is going to get you caught up on everything that is going on with The Flash since Dark Knight's death metal. But right now, Wally West, our new Flash, our stand-in, while Barry Allen is working in the bigger Omniverse. We have Wally West finding himself on Gem Worlds, working with Justice League Dark. They are doing everything they can to stop the one known as Eclipso. And so, with that being said, Let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we dive into this lucky number 777 issue, we are picking up with the West household. And for the West family, everything is going as normal. Kids getting ready for school, mom just packing their lunches. This is an average regular day for the Wests. Meanwhile, on the news, what they see is Wally West getting drugged into a portal by Dr. Feet. And that is what's going to take us to Gym World with Princess Amethyst, the Justice League Dark, and the Flash. And they are all currently running from a crystal worm, a giant worm that is hellbent on devouring all of them. Now, of course, this is completely out of character for this giant worm because they're usually docile. They usually don't go attacking people on a whim on a fly. The only issue is it is currently under the influence of Eclipso. And this tells them one thing. Eclipso got too much of a head start and he has already made his way to the Black Heart. Now, the Black Heart, there is only one individual in all of Gym World that actually knows the location of where it is. And that individual is currently locked away in the House of Diamond, an impenetrable fortress. But of course, Wally West, he has a plan, making this worm completely annoyed with him, him poking and prodding this worm, trying to get its attention so it will chase after him. And that's exactly what it does. Heading due south, he heads directly for the House of Diamonds a beautiful fortress that is used as a prison to imprison just one individual. With Wally leading this giant worm directly to the wall, at the last minute, Wally West, he turns up and our giant crystal worm runs right into the wall, shattering the barrier. With the diamond fortress wall collapsing all around them, it exposes the one individual that is going to help them. The man known as Dark Opal. Someone who has tried to take over Gym World more than one time. And for that crime, he has been imprisoned here for the rest of time. But right now, they come for his help. Because he is the only one that knows where the Black Heart is. And with Eclipso making his arrival, they have no time to waste. And so with everyone formulating a plan, the Flash lets Justice League Dark know, it sounds like you guys got this handled. Like you guys obviously know what to do. You've got this figured out. This is too much magic, too much craziness for myself. If you guys could just beam me out of here, that would be awesome. That would be great. And I'll let you guys get back to work. The only issue with this is that they don't have enough magic to send him home right now. If they were to do that, it would leave them pretty weak for the fight that comes. For the fight against Eclipso. Not only that, they need Wally West. And that is because for some reason, not understanding why this is just yet, but he is immune to Eclipso's powers. But nonetheless, Dr. Fate lets him know that this is nothing more than fate. The glaive landing directly in Central City. You being immune to his powers, all of this has to mean something. Wally West is connected in some way that Dr. Fate just hasn't figured out yet. And until they do figure that out, there is no way that Wally West is able to leave because it would put them at a disadvantage. And so, wasting no more time, they head out for the Black Heart. Picking up a little bit later, that is exactly where we find ourselves. The Black Heart being a hole that leads to the very center of Gem World. Even Dark Opal at one point in time, 
he went down there to try to take the power that is there, but it was too well guarded even for the likes of him. But for Eclipso, this is something that he could easily do. Now at this point, no one really understands why Eclipso has come here to begin with, what even brought him to Gemworld, and what power he is trying to seek down there. But Wally West, he thinks he has a theory, and at first the Justice League Dark they kind of give it to him. They kind of make fun of him like, oh, okay, cool, the Flash finally, he knows something. You know, we have all of these, these masters at magic, but the guy who can run fast, he's going to be the one to tell us what Eclipso is actually up to. But Wally West being very cocky, letting Constantine know that this has nothing to do with magic, this can be answered with science. And he lets us know, when Jay was a little younger, Barry Allen gave him this build your own antenna kit. The central piece of it was a hunk of quartz. And this is when it finally pieces together for the Justice League Dark. They understand what Eclipso is up to. This being Gem World, a world that is essentially a giant quartz crystal. He has an antenna the size of a world. And there is no telling how far his reach will be if he can connect himself to this antenna. And so recognizing that they need to hurry, that they can't waste any more time. Because if Eclipso has that much of a head start, it's not going to be much time before he gets to the center of the planet and he gains total control. But before they can finish their sentences, Wally West and Dark Opal, they look behind them to see that Justice League Dark has been completely taken over by Eclipso. With all of their companions about to bear down on top of them, the situation does not look like it is going to go good for our hero and our villain. Meanwhile, back in reality, we have the daughter of Wally West, who is currently outside with a friend. Not supposed to be outside, definitely gonna be getting in trouble for this, but that is the least of her problems. Because in the shadow, there is something lurking, something menacing, something dark. And so our young speedster, she might have to run for her life. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Alright guys, so my review on this, you guys know I'm absolutely 100% a Flash fan. When it comes to DC Comics, The Flash is definitely in the top 3, if not number 1 for me. And I really was a big fan of Joshua Williamson's run on The Flash. We saw a lot of different things, there were definitely some controversial parts of it. But jumping into this new era of The Flash and the Infinite Frontier era, an era where Wally West is now The Flash, which I'm 100% on board for. You know, they did so many different things with Wally West, it's good to see him back on Earth, back in Central City, and he is filling in for The Flash for Barry Allen while he is out protecting the Omniverse. And I think, I think Eclipso is really good for his real, real first big villain to go against, you know what I mean? Like, there hasn't been a big event yet for Wally West, and this is really kind of it. This glaive has been flying through space, lands in Central City, and then he has to deal with Eclipso, finds himself in, in Gym World, working with Justice League Dark. And Justice League Dark being arguably one of the better lines coming out of DC Comics right now, no, the continuity is a little kind of all over the place. We don't know if this takes place before all of the events that are taking place in Justice League Dark, if it takes before, afters, you know, so on and so forth. But as it stands, it's not a bad story. It's definitely well written. This issue specifically, they did do a lot of cutbacks to Wally West kids. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. They definitely could have cut that down more and gave us more story on what's going on with our hero in the Justice League Dark. But more than likely, we are going to see the West children be able to just cut out, use their powers, and beat some freaking butts. Because at the end of the day, these guys are the next generation of speedsters. And they're not just any speedsters. They are the speedsters of Wally West. They come directly from him, So we, we and we know how powerful they can be. We've seen it throughout comics. Throughout the years, we have seen their true potential. And so for me, I am very excited to see what comes next for the Wests. Not only that, I kind of am happy that they are using Eclipso. It's a, a villain that we don't get to see too much of. And we saw Eclipso in the TV show Stargirl, which, you know, season two was, eh, it, it was okay. Season one was tremendously better, but season two has been pretty good so far. 
using Eclipso, I think was really a really good aspect of it. And so now introducing it into the comics, we really see that a lot. We see where they, they jump from TV to comic books, really trying to boost each other's sales and views. But yeah, I'm definitely excited to see where this goes, to see why Wally West could possibly be immune to Eclipso's powers. But after everything that Wally West has been through, who knows what kind of remnants are left over inside of his body that might actually protect him from Eclipso's powers. But yeah, let me know your thoughts, let me know your theories, and if you have not yet, do me a favor, hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out, and until the next breakdown.